this is not a race for novices. This is the toughest race in the raw calendar, experienced sailors only. Everyone in the fleet has done their miles, tough racing to get to this point. But for us, that's you know, critical in making a safe race. It's a fantastic sailors race. It's, it's three fast nets, you know, it's, um, it's absolutely brilliant. It was one of the most incredible race we can have here. It's uh, long, it's, uh, it's tough, it's long, it's cold. Uh, you can have some bad weather, very tricky. Amazing. Uh, it, it's going to be mad for me. Seven Star Ramp Britain in the Ireland race is for me the ideal offshore race. It's longer than the fast net, so you really get into it, yet lots of waypoints, you turn lots of corners, very, very conditions, and it's much more exciting than a transatlantic or something like that. Really looking forward to doing this race with the team. It's new for me uh, and it's the only time that I will race Medallia with a full crew. I think it's a really challenging race. It's tactical. The weather is difficult. Um, lots of different weather systems. You know, the North Sea is full of tides and gas platforms and traffic and wind farms. Uh, you know, there's absolutely everything jam-packed into quite a small course, so why would I not do it? You know, this could be two weeks of racing and therefore you've got to pace yourself. You know, you typically get tough conditions at some point in this race, a lot of navigational obstacles and quite often we get a lot of retirements. You know, the statistics prove it. 25 double-handed entries in the past, only nine have ever finished. So uh, I like a challenge. Rise to the challenge. To win in this fleet of double-handed sailors would be incredible because there's some real talent out there. And, um, and I think at the moment there's a lot of boats that could take that prize. The pressure is really going to be on the decision-making. The critical thing, where are we going to go when we get off to the south side of the Isle of Wight? Is anybody going to make a break for the French coast? or are they going to stay on the mainland shore and work their way up? You know, remember, that's not easy. You've got, you've got the tidal races, particularly Portland Bill and Start Point, before you get to the Lizard and beyond. So um, I, think, I think, yes, they're going to want to be going fast, but they've got to make the right decision if they want to win this race. It's wishful thinking saying that we aim to win, but I don't like to be lost. So there's really only one way to go, and, and it, it's all up to play for it.